Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Yellow Turban playthrough as, well, originally as Don Go- Oh, I can't even remember his original name. The faction we started over here, and where we are now currently under the uh, wise leadership of, of uh, Bing here, uh, our, our faction leader. Uh, I don't know how we decide who it is. Also, the Empress has declared herself the Empress, so, uh, yeah. Um... Because of course she she's done the effort she's fought for fought for this. It's a bit weird because you know she's empress but she doesn't actually have any sort of family. And uh, we are at war with the Duchy of N Wu now rather than the Kingdom of Wu because we took their key thing and that is my uh, dehumidifier going on in the background so I'm turning that off. And we have a uh, we have a yellow turban a Han Empire uprising within our territory. Uh, I do need to deal with, so we are going to throw somebody together to deal with, Reserve a quick army action. together to deal with them. Remain honest. This doesn't need to be a particularly good army, so we're just kind of throwing something together quickly here. Lift the peasants. Uh, to deal with them. What do you wish, my lord? Uh, Prepare my right, What's going on? Hmm. Sorry, I'm just trying to work out what's best to do where. I want to try and up my food, actually. Because we are act we are struggling on food production at the moment. food producing place this is the issue is we've got a lot of non food producing areas which really doesn't help us right we're going to save money for now we're okay up here peace up here and we're going to we're going to burst out this way there's a lot of food production so we're going to push over here to get that and basically i want to try and grab some food production and that rice paddy fairly quickly and this area is going to be turned into a uh, definitely into a big food producer so straight up going to stick with all of the food producing buildings there and level here up when I can right who needs leveling up here Summon the merchants I would browse their goods yeah, that's good I generally try and level people up a bit whenever I'm uh, actually involved with leveling them up. I <laughs> don't just level them up. Sorry, that was a daft question. I level them up when I level them up. But uh, no, I generally have a look to see if I can give them some best things. But a lot of these guys already have quite good gear as well. Let's just check. There was nowhere else really bad. Just here, which is going up because we've got the rebels. Okay, let us check if we can move. I don't think we've done. Yeah, we're on an end turn, I think. Maintain momentum. There we go. So our current plan is going to be consolidate down here, uh, get some extra food production out. Basically, we're going to try and consolidate southern China, leave the north with the warlords bickering up there, um, just doing what they want. It's nothing to do with me. Take them out, and I'm going to drop this army straight away because I don't really we need it. With it then. I said we've got the income to keep an army, but release them. We have no use for them. See, here is still having issues. Could demolish that and get a temple out. To enlightenment. 
Remain pure. I am going to drop these guys Welcome for now. Your, your presence is heartening. Be the sword. Bing is going to move forwards. My blade is poised. I am at one again. And you're going to start double timing it this way because I want you to head up here towards that livestock farm. I'm going to build another army here to push out this way and just try and keep an eye there. This is a large town we want to build that in. When drawing a bow, so we are a bit limited on what we can actually recruit. So I'd like to get one of each character in here, but so now we don't have that option, so. Hmm. They are good, but they're not as good as some of the other things, so. That'll do for now. We're going to slowly build that army up there. That's more of a defensive force, so um, I know they've got territory there as well. Which is also a food, food producer, so we may have to push that way too. Um, the real issue I've got is I can't afford to leave up here, so we do need to build another, at least one more army, if not a couple. We've got time to build armies. Um, I'm actually going to pull back my people on assignments as well for now. We need to also make sure we keep on... Oh, wow. There we go. That's what I was a bit worried about. That's why we were keeping other people available, because... Inevitably, some others were going to go to war with us, and they have a lot. The Kingdom of Song has a lot of vassals, so um, it's something we want to be aware of. Where are they? Are they actually against me at all? So, Song doesn't actually have any territory right next to me, but they do have. A vassal there. Summon the merchants. I will grab hmm. the goods. So you can tell My this is just a thrown together force. Well. This is where we get the better archers. One. You're going to double time up there. And you're going to kind of double time into the middle here. Keep us moving nicely. You're gonna get built up a little bit. I would meet with my advices. Hmm. I'm tempted to wait on recruiting another person and use that one a bit defensively, so. Marching! For victory! Especially as I'm fairly sure I'm going to be able to pull to end this today. war fairly quickly. But getting all this food is definitely, this food production is definitely beneficial for us. So, the goal is fixed. Hmm. 
Summon the merchants. I would browse their goods. I'm definitely going to swap them out. Um, and switch other units in. Because while they're very good, um, they're actually quite cheap. Everything's quite cheap in this army because we've got reduced retinue costs. But they're not some of the top end units, so um, yeah. There are definitely better units we can get into these guys. I want to get that, but no, and there's some other units we can unlock. Like these guys, those guys. Yeah, you look at uh, so they assault, encourage allies, good in melee. Obviously, they've got rubbish melee toughness. So they're, they're, they're odd units. A lot of them are quite odd units, but they are my, kind of my top tier units. So. Speak, dog. See, they would. Oh, wow! They would really accept peace. Uh, which region is this? Nanhai. Hmm. Not just yet. I'm just intrigued. They would be so. They are so desperate to accept peace. Um, it is time to reflect. Kind of makes me think I should be advancing on more fronts because they're much weaker than I think. Considering they're probably quite a big faction. Uh, so we're going to start pushing through them. Um, we're already doing that. We're going to try and expand a bit there. Like I said, long run, I'd like to get to the bottom of this river here and basically control everything below it. That's kind of going to be my aim. Fighting through these mountains down here is going to be a pain, though. Um, it's not the nicest territory. There we go. Here come the others. Food Justice production Justice down here, and that's what we're really race. after at the moment. We're really after all of this food production. Um, that is going to be very, very good for us. I'm still happy to push out on now. things like these tool makers, but. To Prepare my chambers. To arms. Wow. We are quite literally ripping them to pieces here. Let the wine flow. It is ours by right. If we lower it, it will lose a building slot, so I don't want to do that. We'll tweak all of that soon. Make it quick. Oh, soft no. Get a non-aggression pact with them. Acceptable. 
pray your terms are oh favorable God, no. to me. Um, demand submission. Nobody's going to do that. There we go. We are in agreement. Duchy Wu would straight up accept peace. Um, the Duchy of Wu was potentially not as powerful as I thought, so. You are going to start double timing it down this way because I want to capture here in the rice associated rice paddy. And potentially there, if this is a single if faction area, we'll just uh, take there. And yeah. Bit of extra resolve, a bit of extra authority, not to be sniffed at. Draw inwards. No, I don't care about that. Wow, I was expecting them to control all this territory, and apparently they don't. Um... Which increases the food production there. But here has quite a bit of income from everything. Oh, where was it we were looking actually? Right, let's do a bit of a uh, income fixing. It's still mostly actually from industry, weirdly. Some of these rear ones I can actually get rid of the military piece. buildings in as well. For now. Uh, new. <gasps> I could demand they submit to the cause. Uh, interesting. Um, which means they become my vassal, does it? Hmm. And then I can potentially integrate them as well, long run. Um, I also want to take some territory because we have all the trade power here. Oh, I can't take the city anymore. Oh, because it's now their capital. Let's do it. It is settled. So they are now my vassal. Uh, interestingly, now. Potentially, I can forcibly integrate them. Um, I'm not sure how this works because I've never been here before. Um, that finishes up that war. I could have kept going, but I'm just intrigued to see what options I have now with these guys as my vassal. Um. Oh, it is you. You are lucky I acknowledge you. Uh, 
Annex. Ah, oh, it's not possible. Oh, I wish I hadn't done that now. Um... You I mean, they have no choice. I, I'm going to pull them into all of these Tell wars. Okay, Our we're at war with, with Kingdom of, of the Hand. Um, oh, God damn it. This is an insult. Did we just break? You are lucky ah. I acknowledge you. Wow. We'll wait a minute on that, but basically we just took some of their territory and then ditched that. Um, I forced them to join a war and then I dumped them. Ah! Cultivate patience. Forward. Attack. Be still. One again. Keep advancing up here. Sorry, I was playing with Vassal thing there to see what I did. I'm a bit annoyed I can't integrate them because we're a different culture. Um, which is what I was hoping to do, and obviously I can't. Which is a little annoying, as I'm sure you can understand. Are they still my vassal? You are lucky I acknowledge you. No, but it's broken the vassal status. Okay, they are quite big though. Um, so that war I put in them is going to inevitably help because it's going to cause issues for the rest of China. It means the Kingdom of Song is having to deal with them. <laughs> I do feel quite bad about that. No, not really. Um, as well, so... Uh, that's actually potentially a good thing. There's other people we can uh, integrate over here. Ooh. So there's the other yellow turban faction. More and more people joining this war, but not really people close to me, so... Oh, where do we have a rebellion imminent? Untax there and start working on a temple. My aim is precise. Oh, it's still an easy, easy. Can't be Machal there, obviously, who's uh, just fallen to working for the Han Empire. Integrity. Now let us celebrate with abandon. Execute. Such is the price for Imperial people here. For Traitors to China. That's what they are, guys. Picture victory, and it will be yours. For our labors. Oh, it is you. So Liu Ru is part of a co coalition, uh, but yeah, they're probably not going to join. Um, they are somebody I definitely want to take out at some point soon. Um, so they've got a lot of territory I want. So yeah, I'd like to consolidate that and that. So actually, we're going to position ourselves to hit them next. For the people, advancing. Rest and patience restores. Ever onwards.
I don't necessarily want to push across the river, but we should be able to advance there nicely. See, I could always do a captain, but I'm not so such a fan of captains. I mean, they're a good thing, but they're good for throwing together armies. I'd completely forgotten about them for ages, to be fair. Oh, we have the um, heaven person now. Let's see. That's only local commandery. It affects it. See, it said public order, but it's only locally affecting that. Uh, extra income. It's still good. There we go, and General of the Land is the only other one we've got left, and that gives us another trade agreement. There yeah, we go. This is definitely a commerce place, so let's look at rejigging it a bit, because that's not useful. That is. That's not at all useful here. That's okay. I may as well keep that. Shall we just get down this one next, guys? Uh, increases peasantry income and provides a local construction cost reductions. No, I want to get these guys next. Um... And then the cab. Deflect with shield, cleave with. Prepare my chambers. We must rest. To just grab an archer's captain for them for now, because I, I said I, I can't really be uh, bothered dealing with. You know, I don't you want me to. A Words failing me. I don't want to waste money on other to other things when I don't have to. Um, get another one of them. And two of those because they don't break. They are very, they are quite good. Summon the I merchants. could do rejig that, but I'm not going to rejig everything at once. Getting that up to the max size it can go to. Let's level that up. Oh, Chang'an. Let's get Chang'an a temple. Some of these places I have definitely built down the wrong route, which is a little annoying, but we'll rejig them at some point. It's just a matter of taking our time to rejig things now. Once we've got both armies up here, we'll advance on Gong Sun Tzu uh, and finish off his bit of territory there. Potentially, we might get to push a bit further north, but, you know, that's... We can Consider consolidate everything there. Ooh. Yes. I will take a your money and give you military access. 
this war is not really affecting us at all up here. Uh, we've not seen anything yet. Resolve an instinct for you. Towards peace. Towards victory. Ready yourselves. We don't want to zerg too much. You can head My up Lord, here to help I out hope here. All is well. Towards victory. So, so these two will push up there. The other two will deal with all of this. Take out there. You'll push in there. And basically we'll push up to the river. Then we're going to have some of Wu to deal with. And basically it's going to be pushing against Wu up along here. Long run. But that's not too difficult. As you said, if they can capture everything below that river. To be fair, we'll probably have won by that point. Uh, um, hmm. Let's level up that jade mine. Here really should not have food, it's complete and utter waste. Let's leave it there. When I can, I do like to keep a bit of a buffer, guys, currency wise, because it just means we can throw things together, we can throw out deals or request peace if we want to. Um, I'm a bit concerned something's gonna turn up on this border. So the ability to throw an army together is also useful. Remain firm. Unified in intention. Choose your words wisely. God no. So yeah, no desire for innocent peace with them because we've got plenty of time. If we deal with up here, potentially we can catch some territory there. Um, and we're just positioning it down here. To attention, ever forward. There is cunning in caution. Hold the center. Ready yourselves. Where is this place? Yeah, there. Definitely still needs that, that defences. Um, which is a shame because it is one of my best territories. See, what does he make all his money on? See? I wish I could afford to. I should, should level up that city one. Let's so look at our food producers again. Hmm. I do like that because it does. Oh no, it's not that one. Which one is it? Gives one of these gives us public order. Oh, damn it. Uh, 
that's actually not bad. That's a faction wide buff. Let's level there up. got more than I can spend on. I really should pop build another army. It's just we're in a bit of an odd shape with armies at the moment. So uh, I'll have a think about that, what I want to build armies wise. Having the ability to throw a couple of armies together is useful. I may just have some defensive... No! Oh, it's one of the hard ones to replace too. But we can keep the old retinue. So actually that's not so problematic. Because he will keep retinue even though they're units he shouldn't necessarily have. God, lots of people dying. For China. Oh, bloody hell. Extra satisfaction faction wide. Uh, we, we did just lose a few people, guys. Um, that is not great. Another Bing can be promoted up. I can't do that one because we've just done it. There's another one over a thousand. There we go. That is a little annoying to have just lost so many people in one go. And that's another reason to keep expanding, guys. Um... Standard starts. If we must. They are not allied with anybody, so we are going to jump straight into that. What do you want? Oh, stop it. Remain flexible to react with agency. Eh. Shot fury! Overwhelm them! I should potentially be being a bit more careful with my trustworthiness, but right now. I'm not overly worried about Careful it. Because it's not like everybody doesn't hate me anyway. Let us make I'm not sure when I was at peace with them from, but... Straight up leveling that up, because that is a very good... Oh wow, I'm going to go around there. I hadn't even realised that. Oh, we can go through the gap. There's a gap there. Hold the centre. Strike as one. When justice triumphs, revelry awaits. Our dominion grows. Another rice paddy for us here. Stay fixed. Resume standard position. I'm gonna cut across there. Two arms. So some very good, easy due. victories Let there the for us. Blow. Oops, I didn't actually mean to click that one, never mind, and, well, I think we're, you can safely say we've expanded a bit this session, guys. 
We are, however, going to be leaving this one here. As always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed this. Please feel free to pop any comments in the comment section or jump over to my Discord and say hi. There is a link to my Discord in the comments and the description, as well as links to my Twitter, my Patreon, and my affiliations with Overclockers and Humble Bundle Games, so please check them out. As always, thank you very much for watching.